Breaking news just coming in. Indian Navy achieves another historic milestone by undertaking maiden night landing of MiG-29K on INS Vikram. This is indicative of Navy's impetus towards Atmanirbhata. This challenging night landing trial also demonstrates the resolve, the skill and the professionalism of the Vikram crew and the naval pilots. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has put out a tweet. He says, and I quote, Congratulations to the Indian Navy for successfully undertaking the maiden night landing trials of MiG-29K on INS Vikram. This remarkable achievement is a testament to the skill, perseverance and professionalism of the Vikram crew and naval pilots. Kudos to them. Unquote. Shivarur breaking the story first on India Today joins us live from the newsroom. Shiv, first let's begin by congratulating the Indian Navy and tell our viewers how this is a truly historic moment. Uh, I, I, you're absolutely right, Chaiti. We have to start by congratulating and praising uh, the Indian Navy uh, pilots, the crew of the INS Vikrant, uh, for this incredible achievement. You know, to, uh, to the untrained eye, this may look like just another landing on an aircraft carrier, uh, but we should tell our viewers that this is nothing short of a major milestone in making the INS Vikrant fully operational uh, in terms of its aviation contingent is concerned. Uh, the INS Vikrant was, uh, is India's first indigenously built and indigenously designed aircraft carrier. It was commissioned into service uh, last September, so it's less than a year old. It's a newborn baby, it's brand new, uh, but its aircraft have been flying thick and fast off its deck. Now, a night landing is an especially challenging affair. Uh, naval aviation, by its very nature, is difficult. It's, uh, it's very, very tricky. It's extremely risky because pilots have to fly and land not just, uh, you know, not on a fixed runway that is pretty long, uh, you know, and is pretty forgiving, but on a small ship deck, uh, Chaiti. You've got very small margin of error. You've got absolutely no uh, possibility of, uh, you know, recovering if you make an error and therefore landing on a small ship deck is an extremely challenging affair. Now imagine doing that at night when, you, you know, when, when visibility, you know, the visual element is taken away from you. You're depending entirely on uh, your instruments, your own training and trust in the, uh, you know, uh, the, the landing crew that are on the ship's deck uh, at night. You can't see very much. You can just see certain lights on that ship. Landing on it while it's pitching in every direction on a rough sea, uh, you know, means that this is the most challenging aspect, uh, you know, of aviation probably and most certainly of naval aviation. What this also indicates and what it means is that pilots are now uh, capable of taking off and landing at night, making the INS Vikrant truly a 24-7, uh, uh, you know, ship as far as uh, uh, aircraft uh, and, uh, you know, air power is concerned. And that's very, very important. It's a step-by-step -step process. A few months ago, daytime uh, traps and takes off, takeoffs were taking place. Now you've got night landings. I hear that in a few days from now, there will be night landings of the indigenous LCA Tejas aircraft as well, off the deck, uh, the LCA Navy, I beg your pardon, off the deck of the INS Vikrant. And by the end of this year, the ship will be declared fully operational as far as air power is concerned. And remember, it's an aircraft carrier, so that's its real soul, Chetty. And what does this really mean, Shiv, for the Indian defense sector as far as Atmanirbharta is concerned? Well, it, it goes to the very core of Atmanirbharta simply because, uh, Chaiti, the INS Vikrant is India's first home-built aircraft carrier. We are one of just a small handful of nations, uh, you know, who've had the skill uh, and the, uh, you know, the gumption and capability of building uh, a, a ship that is over 45,000 tons. It's a massive ship, uh, you know, capable of carrying a huge number of aircraft and helicopters. It's basically like a floating city. And this is the first time that India has actually ventured to build its very own. So as far as Atmanir Bharta goes, this is, uh, you know, India's big Hulk smash uh, as far as the defense industry is concerned. But this landing also proves that India has not just made an amazing world-class aircraft carrier, but it is being proven with each passing week that it is an aircraft carrier that can compete with the best in the world in its class and size class and something that is not just a showpiece but something that definitely can be used in war. Remember, uh, as far as national security is concerned, there are no timings. War can break out at any time, Chaiti. It can happen at night, it can happen during the day. And by demonstrating the landing of a MiG-29K, it's a small step, it's a small piece of visual that we're showing to our viewers. But the message it sends out, the indication is the ship is that much more ready for 24-7 battle.
All right, Shiv, thank you so much for that breaking story and giving our viewers a perspective. For our viewers, uh, let's play those visuals out for you to witness this historic moment here on India Today.